In today's video, I'll be showing you why I don't think you can lay a play spot. This is quite subjective. This was a question asked on a match betting YouTuber's live stream that he couldn't answer. So I think at least one person wants to know this. I'm going to show you how I place a tote play spot bet, and everyone should have access to a free £1 tote play spot at Cheltenham. Now, if you're watching this at a later date, the same rules will still apply. So I'm going to show you why I think, or actually prove to you, why you can't lay a play spot because i'm 95 to 99 percent sure you can't lay a play spot i'm going to show you how you can predict a play spot payout towards the end of it i'm going to show tell you a real life story about how i sold a play spot in a bookies and firstly explain what a play spot's all about it's like the lottery but with a twist so let's say for example you and i both placed a play spot bet for one pound and there was a total of 20 players all placing one pound of a place pot. We was the only two winners. We would both get 10 pound each because the total prize pool was 20 pound. There was 20 players that all put one pound in, including you and I. We both won it because we both made the same selections and therefore we get 10 pound each. So it's similar to the lottery, but I'm gonna explain why the tote place pot can't be predicted because if, for example, the lowest amounts you'll get paid out on a play spot would be if you selected all the favorites um or common things like that um because the horses are there's more people going to be placing a bet on a favorite and you'll see what i mean when i start placing this in a minute uh i've had a lot of experience with tote play so it's one of the first bets i started placing way back in 1988 as i started betting as a teenager naughty naughty so let's place our play spot bet i did do a video about this exactly a year ago and i did win off that video this video here was placed last cheltenham and i won 102 pound so i'll leave the link to that actually i'll leave it in the end screen so i will explain about a play spot so i'm going to log in here i'm going to opt in to my free tote play spot for today now i'm going to pick out some selections um i did tip up some horses on my free horse channel here olbg and also the telegram tips of site so i'm going to use some of those selections to place these bets in the link for the telegram will be down below it's a free group so firstly i've got the 210 at cheltenham i tipped el fabiolo because i think el fabiolo is going to have a quite a tight race with the favorite in that race or what was the favorite in that race but in this race i can't really make up my mind so this is the example where i would pick out the unnamed favorite so if you press the plus button on there that selects the unnamed favorite if you can't decide what one of these you want then you can press the unnamed favorite if you selected the unnamed favorite in every race you know almost sure that's going to pay out the lowest payout percentage possible because due to the fact that most people are going to be playing this now you have to understand all this firstly to understand why you can't lay a play spot <clears throat> so bear with me guys el fabiolo by the way is now the five to four favorite which is 2.25 i did tip this up on here and on the telegram group at 2.75 so I'm going El Fabiolo because I think El Fabiolo will beat John Bond and I'm going to say he's going to beat John Bond by two lengths and he's going to overtake John Bond in the last two furlongs as this picture shows. Anyway, enough of that. If you don't like horses, you just want me to show you this. So I've got no selections chosen in this race here. Oh, actually I have. I've tipped up NAS Alarm here on my OLB BG page. Now, one thing to be aware of, the reason I'm showing you live here is because this race here, you'll see here, you've got three places here. This horse here has got four places. However, you can get eight places on Nassalon with Skybet. So regardless of whether there's extra places or any other places like that going on, you will only get the places that are specified here, and that's usually the lowest now should there be some non-runners like in this race if there was some non-runners because usually you only get one two three place in an eight runner field or more if there was a non-runner and there were seven runners in it 
then that would reduce the placings down to two places. Now I've got a, an interesting story at the end, which is real life, about how I sold a place plot in a bookmaker's years ago. You're probably thinking, what the hell? Selling place plots in a, in a bookmaker's? Now this one, I'm just going to back Constitution Hill. Rather than backing him there, I could come down here and press unnamed favourite. I do think Constitution Hill will beat State Man. Let's go to the 410. I have also selected in the 410 Love Envoy or Envoy here. Um, again, you only get the standard amount of places for Love Envoy. Oh, my French is not that good. So there's three places there, regardless of any extra places. Let's select our last one. Now, I did have an outsider in this, but I'm not going to give it away just yet. I'm just going to go for the unnamed favourite here. And let's hope that I'll get lucky, just as I did in this video here, when I won £102. Now, I know this video is not going to get many views, but I've got several web pages on my website explaining about a place pot, a jackpot and a quad pot. It will say there deposit, because I've got no funds in there at the moment, but I don't need to deposit because I've got the free bet. So there was a little error there because I've had to refresh the page for this free bet to come up. So if you have that problem, refresh the page, guys. So I'm going to play this for free. I've got no money in my tote account at the moment. So I'm going to place this bet. The bet is now placed. So what I need here is the unnamed favourite in that race um, to be placed. This one to come first, second, third or fourth. It will explain it there. Should there be any non-runners like this race here, the 330 race, they're giving out places one and two. Um... And there is seven runners there. So say in the uneventual, uneventuality, is that a word? There was three non-runners there. And there was only left with four runners. That would go on the win only. Okay. So this is the thing with tote place pots. This is what causes a lot of complications. Whether there's, if there's been any non-runners. Now two bets closely associated with the place pot are the quad pot and also the jackpot. The quad pot is four bets. So it's typically where people have done a place pot already, because a lot of old men like me like place pots, um, where the first two legs you've you've had losers in. So it gives you another chance. It's based on the last four. Um, the quad pot is based on the last four selections. So it'd be these four legs here. Uh, the jackpot is all the winners. So the jackpot you can win a lot of money on. Uh, but today's pool size... Um, for the play spot is a million pound and one pence i'm sure that one pence is going to make all the difference but i wouldn't mind having a, a win of that million but no so let's explain about um why you can't lay these right so let's say that our unnamed favorite um was placed el fabiolo was placed and nasalam was placed you don't know how much how these other horses are going to get on because if the favourite places in all the races, there's a chance that that could be between, say, £2 and, say, £30, for example. Um, like this day here, I did win £102, but there weren't many favourites in the placings. So it's a bit like the lottery. If you've got, I don't know whether numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 would be common. But if they were, if everyone, if you had those numbers, then it would be a lot less payout. So you, what you're ideally looking for is if you're going to pick outsiders or anything, say, let's choose another race, anything, say, over 10 to 1 in this race, um, you don't want to really choose really outsiders like 33 to 1 or 50 to 1 because then you would, or 66 to 1, you wouldn't want to pick out the biggest outsider there because for you to profit from that, you would need the 66 to 1, the 50 to 1, and the other 66 to 1 to place. Because if you had six races of this where all the outsiders go in like that, that's a chance where you could win a million. Because the chances are no one's going to have that. No one's going to have that play spot because you've got all the outsiders in it. The more favourites that are included in each race, the less the payout's going to be. Now, there's a one way being able to predict what a payout is and it's this page here i'll leave this in the description totepoolliveinfo.com you can come in here on your place pot jackpot or um quad pot that i mentioned which is each of the races three to six at a meeting um by the way if there's seven um if there are seven races in a day then it'd still be three to six uh 
so you can come here and get a guesstimation which is usually quite accurate on what your play spot's going to be but you can probably see now how you can't really judge how to lay the play spot because if you was going to lay the play spot you'd have to lay each individual race as place only and you, if the play spot doesn't even win you've lost money if the first one places so let's say you placed the first second and third and fourth on the place only um lay and then the fifth one um was blown out you would have lost all that money so that's why you can't place uh you can't lay place pots in my opinion you can if it gets towards the end and you know that you've had say i had all these four and they were it was looking good i was looking on a good payout i went on to the tote live info.com and it was looking like yeah i'm gonna get a good payout here it's worth laying the last one for sure i've had that before with scoop sixes scoop sixes are like uh play spots they're a they're a hybrid of a play spot and a quad pot a scoop six will cost two pound one pound of that will be the jackpot one pound of that would be the play spot it's usually on saturdays or festival days like this and that's why basically you can't lay um play spots another reason another spanner in the works that you usually get is that if we go to a race i was in the bookies one day ages ago this was me and my friend we used to spend all day in the bookies on a saturday and then we used to plot up by a bookies with a pub next to it or nearby and we just spend all day doing that and it was one of those days where we had hardly any money left and it's like down to your last pint or two pints left very remind me like 20 years of age both in working in the betting industry knew what we was doing and then i said um a guy said oh, have you got you desperate for money do you want to sell that place pot you've got there because i had all the first five legs that had won and half of those had outsiders with them so it's looking like if the sixth one came up you was going to get around two three hundred pound at least because you can back then there was none of these pages like this this was the 1990s so the guy said to me i'll give you 25 quid for it and i said no and uh, he said i'll give you 30 quid for it i said yeah okay you can have 30 quid for it but what happened was it was in an eight runner race right and it was a flat race and i remember it vividly it was in a independent bookmakers in greenwich high street and what happened was the bloke there was a withdrawal so there was eight runners and a horse got withdrawn so therefore there was only seven runners remaining which meant there was only two places like this race here the horse <laughs> came third the guy was sick because he started saying i want my money back i want my 30 pound back and i was like no mate you sold i sold you that before the withdrawal because the guy would have been happily have collected his 300 400 pound 200 pound or whatever but he wanted his money back he didn't get his money back that went on beer that day but these are the kind of weird things that can happen with play spots um it's generally a good bet it's a, it suits a bet that uh someone thinks that there's a, quite a few horses are going to place in um and generally just like if you've got no value out of this race just go and get hold of that free tote play spot because i've proven on this one here and that was recorded obviously before the race that um that you can win from it it's very rare so if you look at my pit bet site you can see that there's a few pages on there that i've written about play spots quad pots and jackpots it's got things about everything betting there if you're more into betfair trading uh or horse racing tips i've got the free horse racing telegram channel there i'll leave a link for that down below and this end card shows some betfair trading videos if betfair trading is your thing good luck today guys